Hi and welcome. In this video, we are going to solve check whether a number is palindrome or not. So, given a number, let's say 1 to 1. So, is 1 to 1 palindrome or not? Is 1 to 1 palindrome or not? Yes, it is a palindrome. So, what is a palindrome number? A palindrome number is nothing but a number when seen in reverse is equal to the original number. So, if I reverse 1 to 1, if I reverse 1 to 1, we will get 1 to 1 again. Okay. So, since both numbers are same, therefore 1 to 1 is a palindrome number. So, if I have 1, 2, 1, 3. Now, if I reverse it, it will become 3, 1, 2, 1. Now, these two numbers are not same, are not same. Therefore, 1, 2, 1, 3 is not a palindrome number. So, the question is, given a number n, print yes if it is a palindrome number or print no if it is not a palindrome number. Okay, a simple problem statement and we will solve this problem using recursion. Fine. So, let's begin with the logic building part. Okay, how recursion will help in solving this particular problem and then we will see the dry run of that recursion code and it is very very important to know how the recursion code works using the recursion stack okay in every stack what will be the values and how the return works fine so recursion dry run is really important do not miss it fine so let's now begin with the logic building part so in the logic building part there is nothing much left because we already know that what we need to do because if we have given a number, let's say 155, okay, to check whether this number is a palindrome number or not, one way is just to reverse this number, okay, just reverse the number and match to both two numbers after we reverse it. If they are same, then it is a palindrome number, else it is not a palindrome number, okay. There are other ways also, but this is also a direct way, fine. So, if we reverse a number somehow, then match we will get our answer now the question is how to reverse the number okay how to reverse a number so given a number let's say this only 155 how will i get 551 okay so for that we'll be using a concept of creating number using digits of creating number using digits what is the meaning of that given a uh, four digits 1542 let's say okay four different digits 1542 i want to create the number 1542 the number 1542 given these digits so so how to do that okay so the first digit is nothing but one okay so in our result have one fine the second is nothing but 15 we want 15 because 1542 so we need 5 so what is 15 15 is nothing but 10 plus 5 it is nothing but 10 plus 5 so it is nothing but 1 multiplied by 10 plus 5 will give me 15 now next is 154 so it is nothing but 150 plus 4 okay so the 15 multiplied by 10 plus 4 will give me 154 now 1542 so it is nothing but 1540 plus 2 okay so the result previous result 154 multiplied by 10 plus 2 will give me 1542 okay so what is this what is this is nothing but a simple loop we can run okay if you are using loop concepts and in the recursion we will call again and again so i hope you understood this so if i want to create uh let's say seven eight nine zero okay and we have four digits seven eight nine and zero differently so it is nothing but zero multiplied by ten plus seven will give me seven okay now this digit seven multiplied by ten plus eight will give me seventy eight that is nothing but this now seventy eight multiplied by ten plus 9 will give me 789 and 789 multiplied by 10 plus 0 will give me 7890 7890 that is the total number that we needed to find out okay so this concept we will be using so we have 1 2 1 correct so we will go from the end okay we will fetch the last digit we will fetch the last digit okay convert it into the number that is 0 multiplied by 10 plus the last digit that we get okay so this will be the result then we will divide this number by 10 so we will get 12 now we will fetch the last digit again now we will fetch the last digit again so now this will be result previous result multiplied by 10 plus the last digit that we get okay this will be stored in the result now we will divide by 10 we will get 1 now the result multiplied by 10 plus 1 will give me the final result okay so how this is working it is very very simple right now 
सो वन ट्वेंटी वन मोट टेन विल गिव मी द लास्ट डिजिट वन एंड वन ट्वेंटी वन डिवाइड बाई टेन विल गिव मी ट्वेल्व ओके नाउ दिस वन विल बी जीरो मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टेन प्लस वन विच इज नथिंग बट वन वंस वी गेट ट्वेल्व नाउ ट्वेल्व मोट टेन विल गिव मी टू सो फ्रॉम प्रीवियस वन मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टेन प्लस टू विल गिव मी ट्वेल्व ओके नाउ ट्वेल्व डिवाइड बाई टेन विल गिव यू वन देन अगेन वन मोट टेन विल गिव मी वन so it is nothing but 12 multiplied by 10 plus 1 so it is 121 and 1 divided by 10 will give me 0 so since we have a zero we will stop and the result we are getting is 121 we will match this with our original number and if they are same then we get a palindrome number or we do not get a palindrome number so this is the whole logic for the program okay by mod 10 we will be accessing the last digit by divide by 10 we will be removing the last digit okay reducing the number we'll begin with the last and for create the number step by step using the digits that we are getting from mod 10 and divide by 10 fine so once we form this number we will just have to match it out okay i think you can do this using a for loop easily now let's see how to do this using recursion using recursion code how to do this okay now using a for loop it is i think it is very simple or using a loop using a while loop i think you can easily do it so let's do this using a recursion code now fine let's see a pseudo code for recursion and then we will move on to our implementation after that the try run okay let's do that now let's see a pseudo code for this now before going to that if we were using a loop it will be while and not equal to 0 okay and equals to the number that we have taken as input and a result equal to 0 now the result will be result multiplied by 10 plus n mod 10 that is the last digit and n equals to n divided by 10 so this will give me the whole result n mod 10 the last digit n equal to n divided by 10 reducing the number till n is not equal to 0 now let's see how to do this in a recursion function okay so each time i need my n mod 10 and i need n divided by 10 i need two things definitely each and every time i need these two things n mod 10 and n divided by 10 okay so in our recursion function let's say the name is is palindrome or not okay is palindrome i have two variables int n and int num okay that's number will store me the result each and every time the result we are getting and from n we will be getting n mod 10 and n divided by 10 each and every time okay and this num will be storing the result so let's say this is nothing but the result okay so each time the result will be exactly same result multiplied by 10 plus n mod 10 okay now we have to call the function again because this is work similarly like loop we have to call the function again okay so return the function that is a spelling drum and now what we have to do we have to pass what do we have to pass the n itself no we have to pass the new value of n if first it was 121 now we have to pass 12 that is nothing but 121 divided by 10 so we have to pass n by 10 now okay once we pass n by 10 once we pass n by 10 and the new result and the new result okay so this will work just like a loop see this will work just like a loop first n value was 121 result was 0 in this case result became what result will become nothing but 121 mod 10 1 okay now 12 will be passed and result 1 will be passed now again result will become what 12 now one will be passed and 12 will be passed okay i will show you the whole try run process so it is similar to this but when the recursion will stop the loop will stop when n is not equal to 0 this recursion also should stop there should be a base condition to stop the recursion so the base condition is exactly same so if n become equal to equal to 0 we need to return we need to stop and return okay if base condition is exactly equal to equal to 0 that is n is equal to equal to 0 that means we have to stop there is nothing else left we have to stop our recursion code fine so this was the loop code and this is we converted into a recursion code we are using the base conditions if n is equal to equal to 0 then return okay stop it whenever n becomes 0 stop it it is same as this whenever n becomes 0 break the while loop whenever n becomes 0 stop the recursion okay this is the result that i have explained and each time in the while loop also a new result will be passed right correct and n to n divided by 10 will occur so each time n divided by 10 n result so this is the recursion code fine now 
let me just dry run this re recursion code this is this is it this is it okay this small one and let me just dry run and show you using recursion stack actually how everything works inside a recursion stack okay because it is really really important to understand how a recursion stack works okay for future videos also fine this is an easy question we will move on with the tougher questions and in that having a knowledge of recursion stack is really important fine so let's see that part now so let's see the trace of recursion how to dry run a recursion code okay so in this part now we are going to see this is a recursion code okay that we have now these are i have written the numbers 1 2 and 3 what this code does it simply tells us whether a number is a palindrome number or not correct initially let n equals to 1 2 1 2 1 okay and result equals to 0 so this is the initial values that are passed to this number fine now using the recursion stack method i am going to trace out the recursion step by step and make you understand how actually the recursion works it's a very simple recursion trace okay but it is very important to know how actually these all things pan out fine so first step n is 1 to 1 to 1 and result is 0 okay so in the first recursion these values will be provided so n will be 1 to 1 to 1 and result will be 0 correct fine now the first step will be executed is for is n equal to equal to 0 no so nothing will happen second step will be executed so what will be the new value of result now result value what it will become result equals to result into 10 so 0 into 10 plus n more 10 n more 10 will be give me 1 so result will become nothing but 0 into 10 is 0 plus 1 so result will become now 1 okay result value will be updated to 1 fine in the third step will be executed now when the third step is executed a new function will be called a new function will be called fine so a new function is called with a n value so a new function is called with n value as n divided by 10 so n divided by 10 1 2 1 2 1 divided by 10 will become 1 2 1 2 so in this recursion stack n value is 1 2 1 2 and result value is 1 result value is 1 because result is updated right here fine now again these three steps will be calculated so first is result equal to n equal to equal to 0 no second what will be the new value of result come on so result will become nothing but 1 into 10 is 1 and n divided by 10 is nothing but 2 so it becomes 12 fine now third again a call again a call now in this call what will be the new value in the new call so n will be n divided by 10 so it is 1 2 1 okay and result will be 12 fine again these three will be coming out so one three steps one two and three so will one be executed no because 121 is not equal to zero so it will go on result will become one two one okay result will become one two one so updates and call again call again what will be the new value new value of n will be 121 divided by 10 so it is nothing but 12 okay result will be passed as one two one okay three steps one two and three first step executed no second step executed yes result will become 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 okay and now call again when we call again n value will become 1 okay because 12 divided by 10 this 12 divided by 10 result will be 1 2 1 2 will be passed okay first step executed no second step executed yes result will become 1 2 1 2 1 because n more 10 1 more 10 will give me 1 and third call again now when we call n will be 0 result will be 1 2 1 2 okay first step executed yes because n equal to equal to 0 so return the result what is the result 1 2 1 2 1 here 1 2 1 2 1 was formed so 1 2 1 2 1 will be passed so we will return we will return to the calling function we always return at the point where the function was called from okay this particular function calling was from the third point of this particular stack so it will be returned at this position okay now what will be the value of this the value returned 1 2 1 2 1 so return what 1 2 1 2 1 so this will return 1 2 1 2 1 here okay now again here this will return 1 2 1 2 1 to its calling function so here correct now this will return 1 2 1 2 1 here because there are no other steps to go we just have a return value whatever value is returned we are returning it so 1 2 1 2 1 will be returned here finally 1 2 1 2 1 
will be returned to the main function where this particular function will be called was called from and there we will check whether this number is equal to the original number or not if this is equal then print yes or print no okay whenever we return so this stack will become empty the stack will become empty okay so this was the recursion stack okay so this is how the whole code works this is how the whole code works using a recursion stack i have traced and explained you this point fine now let's code finally using the main function and is spelling down function both and complete the video lecture okay so let's do that now so this was the logic building part okay next we are going to see the implementation part for this particular question fine so let's begin with the implementation part so take the input so we are in a test case loop so that we can test it for multiple test cases so take the input n c in n fine now what we need so here let's take another number num and make it n fine we will pass this number into our palindrome function okay now call is palindrome function is palindrome num comma n fine so we are going to return true or false we can easily return true or false instead of int just sorry we have to return the number itself correct so we will not return anything like that we will just store it into the result so result equals to is palindrome number comma n now if this result equal to equal to our original number we need to print yes we need to print yes fine else we need to print no you out no fine after this let's go to the palindrome function and here just change it into the result one so that it matches the video lectures so in palindrome if my n equal to equal to zero then return the number itself return the number itself else simply return is palindrome is sorry we have to first calculate the result result equals to result multiplied by 10 plus n mod 10 correct now after this return what is the error here one second we have to return result not number result now after this just simply return our is palindrome call the recursion function is palindrome n divided by 10 comma n result fine so this is the whole code okay so a very simple and straightforward code fine and just a semicolon at the end to remove this error and run the code so now we will test it for six to seven cases and we are done okay if there is an error we will correct it out right now by testing it with a test case we can know if there are errors or not in the implementation part okay let's see so suppose we have 10 test case 10 10 test cases okay so one to one gives me no so we have a problem we have a problem because one to one is giving a no but one to one should not give a no it should give a yes correct so what do you guys think is the problem right now so n equals to result, result equals to result multiplied by 10 plus n mod 10 this is fine return is palindrome n divided by 10 okay and pass the result updated result okay this is also fine okay then n result equals to is palindrome whatever it is if result equal to equal to the given number n so c out yes else c out false okay so is the mistake is right here we have to pass result in the beginning as zero it is zero multiplied by 10 because result will become zero so zero multiplied by 10 plus the first number not n multiplied by 10 so this was a mistake in the code so let's now run it again and check it out fine so 10 10 test cases 1 to 1 should give me yes now it is correct 1 1 1 yes correct single one also is a palindrome number single number yes it is correct Sim single two correct so 1 2 3 4 5 it should give a no 5 4 3 no random numbers no 1 2 3 3 2 1 yes so the code is working fine okay the code is working fine okay guys so this was the recursion program for finding whether a number is a palindrome number or not okay and this was the implementation for the same thank you